Hey, what's going on guys? It is Josh here coming at you with a deck profile again and today we are doing an updated version of my Dark Magician deck. Thanks to the Yugi's Legendary Decks 2, there's a bunch of new cards in here and I'm very excited to show the new build. So without any further ado, let's just jump into this. So as you can see from the top, we have, of course, the three Dark Magician. Um, I was using the movie pack promo, but now that the Yugi Tins came out and stuff, I got three of the originals. They're um, the OGs. And then we are playing three Magician of Dark Illusion. Not much else to say. He's basically your second Dark Magician, so... You're basically playing like six Dark Magicians in this deck. It's He's very, very, very helpful. And the three Magicians Rod. I've seen some builds lately now with two, but I still really like three, and I'm probably going to keep that. And I did have this next card at three, but I am now down to two Chocolate Girls. Uh, I just had to make some room and... You know, there's other cards I wanted to try out, so I had to cut a Chocolate Girl, but two is still really good. And then for the one ofs, we have the one Summoner Monk and the one Prisma. They both help out to bring out Dark Paladin. Uh, Dark Paladin is my only fusion monster in the extra deck, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. And then I am playing kind of like a tech card, I guess. One Silent Magician... I really like her effect. She's not strong in terms of like attack and stats, but her effect's really good. And she's a level four. I'm playing more level fours than in my previous builds of this deck, so I can make more rank fours if I need to. And she's another uh, great way to do that. And then the one Mahad and one Dark Magician of Chaos. I took out the second Mahad for a Dark Magician of Chaos just because the two Mahads, um, I would open with him too much and you want to draw into him. And Dark Magician of Chaos is just a great card. It's another Magician. It's a Dark type and he's just a great card. So not much else to say. Moving on to the spells we have. The three Dark Magical Circles. Now that... Um, Eternal Soul is out. This card's even better than it was, but regardless, you have to play three. And thanks to Yugi's Legendary decks 2, I am now playing the, t the three uh, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. I couldn't believe how expensive this card was before the reprint. I wanted to play it, but I wasn't going to pay 40 bucks for a super rare but this card's really good, and now that it's a common, it's easier to get, and I really like it. And then for the draw power, really, we have Pot of Duality. I'm not playing the Allures because I was finding that banishing your Magicians and other dark cards, it hurts. Like, yeah, Allure is good for that extra draw power, but you really want everything in the grave and bring it back um or activate their effects from the grave you don't want to banish uh with this deck so that's why i cut the allures and i got the two dualities two illusion magic just a really good card um and i'm also playing the one dark magic attack for other one ofs we have one twin twister and one Mystical Space Typhoon. You can put two Twisters or two Typhoons, whatever uh, you really want to do. That's totally up to you. But I kind of like one of each. It's been working out pretty good. One Dark Magic Veil, and then the last is one Raigeki. Traps, uh, pretty short and pretty sweet. We are playing the two, sorry, the three Magician Navigation. Jeff Jones got like 34th place with Dark Magicians at the uh, 
Minneapolis YCS, and I think he only had two navigations, which I thought was pretty interesting. I've that's actually the only build I've seen with two. Um, I think it's really important to have that three, but it could have just been that he was opening with it too much or saw it when he didn't need to or that kind of thing. Um, I'm not really sure, but I thought that was interesting. But I really like three uh, with this deck. It seems to, I when I see it, I need it. So I'm probably going to keep it at three unless something crazy happens. And now we have the three Eternal Souls. This card's like the super version of Call of the Haunted for Dark Magician decks. It is so good. It combos amazingly with Dark Magic uh, dark magical circle and it's great it, I mean it does hurt you it, it can blow up your field which is pretty crazy it's a you know negative drawback that the card has but um, I mean it's too good not to run it helps out so much um, your it protects your magicians and lets you bring them back so couldn't ask for anything more and then to end the deck, we have the Solemn Brigade. Two Solemns and a Strike. You can really, you can take out something for another Strike if you wanted to, but I only have two Strikes, so that's kind of what I'm working with for right now, but it's still really good. Um, two Strikes in the, in the Warning. But yeah, guys, that's the main deck. For the extra deck, we have the one... Dark Paladin, like I said, we're only playing the one fusion, but it's great for that Blue Eyes matchup. And then the best extra card deck, I think, is Ebon Illusion Magician. And this card could be a little better, but right behind it, we have the one Ebon High Magician. Uh, generics, rank sevens, we have the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Number 11, Big Eye. It's always great to steal a Blue Eyes if you can. And then Mecha Beast, uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, Draco Sack. And then just some generic rank fours. We have Castell. And then I am playing actually a Trapeze Magician. You can make him quite easily. And then one Cowboy, one Diamond Dyer. Uh, we have the... Dr Dragon Spider Shark, Abyss Dweller, number 47, and Dante, because you can use the rods and make those rank threes if you really want to. The option's there, at least. Um, I mainly go for the Ebon Illusion and High Magician, and then some of those stronger rank sevens, but it's every once in a while, you can go into a Dante. It's pretty fun. But yeah, guys, that is my updated Dark Magician deck profile. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. Uh, once again, thanks guys for watching and I'll speak with you soon. Peace out.